Good afternoon. I'm David Vanna, and I'm a resident of High Springs in Alachua County. I'm also a board member of the North Santa Fe River. We advocate on behalf of this 75 mile Springs Fed River that's increasingly not clean or abundant for water quality and water quantity issues. Nothing new with the Santa Fe River. What's also not new are state of Florida regulatory measures funded by taxpayers that were developed and adopted to ensure minimum water levels or flows in the river, as well as those that cap the maximum amount of pollutants like nitrate that the river can handle and still be a healthy body of water. Yet they too aren't doing much to restore the health of the river, the spring shed, the Florida Springs, or the Florida Aquifer. So I come here today to support the Right to Clean Water campaign at a moment of great urgency for all of us who love the river and spend their free time on it or have businesses that at least in part draw people here to North Central Florida because of the springs and the river. I myself am an immigrant from South Florida who saw firsthand the effects of government under management and mismanagement. The effects of government. Sorry, I'm just going to go back to that last sentence. I myself am an immigrant from South Florida who saw firsthand the effects of government under management and mismanagement on the St. Lucie River and the Indian River Lagoon. I want those restored as well as all waterways in this state. This, isn't, this just isn't about the one Santa Fe River that I volunteer for. I also come here at a moment of great optimism. Virtually every citizen I talk to cares enough to understand the science behind the river's problems. They know that things aren't working at the state level, and like me, no one here wants new laws or to punish anyone or to take away their livelihoods. No, that's just not true. What they do want is to know that their modest voices as kayakers, hikers, anglers, swimmers, parents, grandparents, business owners, taxpayers, and in the most general sense, as members of a society where we respect each other and the natural world will be heard and accounted for. Who stands behind this campaign makes me happy, as I know it's a multitude of regular folks like me. Perhaps a generation ago, the notion of citizens having real representation and being power wouldn't be so far-fetched or radical. But for those of us, the great majority, who are barely heard anymore, whether that's in Washington, D.C. or Tallahassee, it is now time that we dare to think that there's a different way to begin the healing and make anew the process that can save our waterways from the very, very few who stand in our way. Thanks. All right.